In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint list versus library. We will see what is the difference between a SharePoint list and a library, when we should use SharePoint list and which, when we should use SharePoint libraries. Hello, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. So now let's get started. So before going to know the difference between list and libraries, let us understand what is a SharePoint list and what is a library. So imagine a scenario, I have some training course details. So I have some training courses and for that I want to store some information. For example, I want to store the training course name, a duration, what is the price for these courses and is there any future update is there and whether I can get uh, this lifetime access and any other information if you want to store. Now imagine this is the information that you want to track in your SharePoint. So what you will create for this? Are you going to create a list or are you going to create a library? Now let me tell you one more thing. In these scenarios, maybe I want to add the course curriculum as well. So I want to tell the user that this is the entire course that you are going to uh, get. Now here the requirement is store the information like these are the informations at, and as well as I want to store some attachments also or some, uh, some, some documents. Now what you will create for this? So, so for this scenario, you can create a list because for you, uh, the priority is to store the information and if let's say some, for some courses, the curriculum is not ready, then probably later you can add this. But at this point of time, you want to track first of all what all your training courses are. For example, if I will show you in my SharePoint site, so you can see here, this is the SharePoint uh, site and I have a training course details list. This is your list. And you can see I have created a column training course name. In fact, this is the title column and I have just renamed it. So training course name and these are actually the training courses that that is available. And the other information that I required is duration. So this is uh, this, this is in hours. So 60 hours and this is the price. Is there any future update? Yes, there is lifetime access available. Yes. And if you want put if you want to put any other information, then you can put over here. At the same time, you can see here, I have an attachment column here, which I have enabled it. And in this scenarios, that attachment column will hold the course curriculum. So you can see here for other courses, I don't have that curriculum ready. So probably later I can add this. Now, if you will take, if you'll create as a document library, then to create a course, you have to have a document ready for that. That means in those scenarios, first of all, you, you have to uh, make the curriculum and what will happen if tomorrow you want to delete that curriculum and you want to add another curriculum. So in those scenarios, then all your, the entire item will go. If you delete a document, then entire item will go. So that's the reason in these scenarios, we have created a list so that we can track all this information. And a list like a table in, in, in a database, if you have little knowledge on database or if you, it is like an Excel where you can you have you have your rows, columns, everything and that's how you are going to store information. So this this is all about the list. Now on the other side, you have the libraries. So in the libraries, you can actually store documents. So that means uh, let's take the same example. I want I wanted to store the course details. So I created a list. Now I want to track or I want to keep all the course related documents, maybe the course material in terms of PDFs, in, in terms of the project files, uh, maybe the source code file, anything. So in those scenarios, you can create a library because they are the priority or the item that you want to store is the documents, is the course materials. So in those scenarios, you can create a library and how you can distinguish it for example, you will say that this document is for a particular course that you can create a column which is known as the metadata as well. So in those scenarios, you can see here I have a course column and in that course column probably I can make a choice column and I will tell that this document is related to particular course. Now let me open this. So if I will open the library, here is the library. You can see here I have a related documents here. So maybe the Nintex for Nintex, there are two documents for, uh, for site owner, there is one for SPFX, there is three. So the important here is the document. So when you upload a document, now the next thing that you want to uh, tell the users that this document is for SharePoint development training. And if you'll see here, this is the course column. 
and if i'll just edit the column i will show you that these are my choice values and nothing but my the courses now so in this scenario if you'll see here i have created a courses column which is the metadata for this this document library and which will tell that this document is related to nintex and this document is related to sharepoint site owner training and this is how your users can filter the documents so this is a scenario where you can go for a document library now let me show you really what are the few differences that you can uh, see between a list and library so when we talk about list so in the left side whatever you are seeing here all this list related and this all the right side of uh, these options are library related now let's go through one by one so the information so when we talk about a uh, sharepoint list in those scenarios we are talking about the information maybe it's employee information maybe it's a student information maybe it is a project information so we are talking about the information and when we, when we talk about the information the information like for example for the employees maybe you will say first name last name email id salary age whatever like this so these are known as the information now on the other side when we talk about document libraries that time we talk about files we talk about the documents so in those scenarios the item is a file or a document itself now without a document or file you cannot create an item in your library so overall if you want to st store structured data you can uh, you can create a list but meaning that you can also have attachment you can you can also store on structured data so you can store attachment but the primary reason why we create a list you can create a list to store structured data and a library for unstructured data so you can create pdf files you can create or you can store uh, your mp4 files mp3 files any any kind of files you can store and those are known as the unstructured data and in a library you will having check in check out option so check in check out means you if you uh, want to modify a document then probably you can check out that document so that other people will get to know that you are modifying that and once you modify it then you can check in the document so that the updated version will be available to everyone and that is available in a sharepoint library that is not available in sharepoint list another major difference between a list and library is that in sharepoint list the versioning it supports major version so that means the version can be one two three like this but in terms of the libraries or the document library it supports major and minor version that means you can create one two three four like the major versions the other one is you can also create minor version like 1.1 1.2 1.3 1 like this so these are known as the minor version and then another difference is that document set so libraries support document state uh, sets um, what exactly what happen in a document set you can store related documents so that's why we create document set i have a complete article on that i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at that in fact i have also created separate videos for what is list what is library and i'll put all the links in the video description you can have a look at that but sharepoint list doesn't support document set so you will not have that and another major difference is that um, if you talk about the attachment in a sharepoint list those are actually will not indexed by sharepoint so that means if someone will search then they will find the item and then they have to click on that item and then they have to go to the attachment but in terms of library your documents will be indexed and it will be available for the search so these are a few differences between list and libraries now let us try to understand what i should create to store documents now why this this kind of subject that i put because most of the time we require to store documents and we usually think what we should create now it depends actually most of the times if your document is priority for example let's say uh, the first one you can see here the company policy documents so in these scenarios maybe it's hr policy maybe it's a leave policy health insurance policy or any kind of other policy related documents that you want to store then in those scenarios you can create a library and you can store documents for example you can let's say you want to store the quality related documents then you can create a document library if you want to store your project related documents so you can store you can create libraries for that 
But the other side, you can see here, I have taken an, another example where I want to store the employee information. Now when I'm taking, when I'm uh, saying that I want to store employee information, in those scenarios, you can see, I want to store the employee information first. For example, I have 100 employees in my company. I want to store all their information first. So when I'm saying all information, maybe the email ID, their first name, last name, gender, uh, or date of joining. So this information I want to store. And the next thing also, I want to store their resumes or their driving license or passport or any kind of photos. So this information also, if I want to store, then also you, you can create a, a same list or you can use the same list and there you can store these things as an attachment. So for example, if the employee name is BJ and you will get the information from the list and you can click that document or sorry you can click click that item and then you can see the attachments there you will find the resume or the driving license passport everything now in those scenarios what will happen is if you have 100 employees then you will be having 100 items and you can see uh, that all your information or your employee information are there and anytime you can click one employee and then you can get their uh, their information or their documents which are related to your resume or you know driving license or anything but on the other side if you think that i want i will create a library for this now understand what will be the problem now the problem will be uh, let's say employee name is Vijay and he has four documents over there and you will create a library and you have to create upload these four documents and when the moment you will upload these four documents then four files or the doc or item you can say will be created in the library and in those scenarios if if you having 100 employees then might be you will see that there are 400 rows for that and it will be difficult for you to actually maintain the information tomorrow you want to uh, change the name of that particular employee then you have to actually modify all the four records to understand that okay this is what you are changing there are also other ways that you can store you can uh, link to the documents document libraries but but in a simple scenario that you can think of this kind like you can create a list and then you can store these additional documents as an attachment so i hope you got an idea on uh, how what is the difference between a list and libraries and when you should create a list and when you should create a library so if you want similar kind of videos where you can learn sharepoint office 365 power platform spfx then you subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you will get the notification the moment i'll upload a video and let me tell you that i upload videos weekly two or three videos i usually upload and you will learn something new so thank you and have a nice day